Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to continue the GST series. In this video, I am going to solve one question related to time and supply of goods. So before solving the question, we need to understand what is this time and supply of goods. So here time and supply of goods means the time or the period or the date on which the supply of goods or the provided certain services will be liable to GST. So the date or the time when these goods when these goods will be liable to GST that is called as time and supply of goods. So here for example X a person is in Karnataka he is selling his uh, <laughs> delivering goods to person Y in Mumbai so he has sent the goods on 38 September but the goods were received to this person on 3rd October so here on which date or on which time the GST will be liable on this particular type of sale we know that if the sale is going to happen between two states between two states what is the kind of gst applicable right but what is the time either this gst will be applicable on 30th september or 3rd october we don't know when the GST will be payable we don't know so what is the procedure provided under GST Act we need to discuss and after discussing what is that particular time when the GST is payable or what is this time and supply of goods we can easily understand and we can easily determine on which date this X or the Y person will be liable to pay the GST so here according to section 12 of cgst act time of supply time of supply is the earliest of these three things any earlier date either it is the date of invoice second or the date last date of issue of invoice or date of payment any earlier date of all these three will be the time of supply so first of all let's discuss what is this date of invoice so here date of invoice it is the date when the bill is issued to the customer x is sending goods to y y is is in mumbai so whenever he is sending goods he is making one bill he is making one voucher he is making one invoice that date the mentioned date on the bill it is called date of invoice next is last date of issue of invoice so last date of issue of invoice we can understand this in two cases it will be in two cases first case is when supply involves movement of goods that is the goods is transferring it is under some transportation process it is delivered to the customer to his uh, can say to his home or to his factory the person is not coming to the shop or the person is not coming to the factory but the seller the owner is himself uh, transporting those goods to the receiver so in that case what is the last date of invoice the last date of invoice will be the time of removal of goods when the goods are removed from the factory or from the warehouse or from the shop that is called as time of last date of invoice last date of issue of invoice in case the there is a movement of goods the person is not coming to take the goods but the movement of goods is there the seller is himself transporting the goods on that case the last date of issue of invoice will be the time of removal of the goods from the particular place second case the other case is 
when the goods is taken from the shop by the particular receiver that is the time of delivery of goods when the person is coming he is uh, physically visiting that particular uh, shop particular factory he is taking the goods on that time the last date of issue of invoice will be calculated so two cases when the goods are moved or when the goods is taken from the shop by the receiver himself when the goods is moved the time of removal of the goods will be the last date of invoice in case the seller the in case the receiver is himself coming and taking the goods the delivery of the goods on that that time the particular time will be the last date of issue of invoice next next we need to know is date of payment so date of payment what is the date of payment here earliest of two one is date of receipt of amount in the bank account so in the example we took that uh, example that x x is sending goods to y who is in mumbai so y what will he do he will transfer the amount to x so here date of payment what will be the date of payment if the amount is transferred uh, using the neft so uh, the date when he is, has uh, transferred the amount that will be the date or when the particular amount will be uh, credited uh, into the account that it will be the date of payment so here again earliest of any the beginning date will be the date of payment first is date of receipt that is receiving amount in the bank account or date of debit by the recipient so recipient is sending amount is sending amount and one person is receiving he is x he is y so y is sending amount to x suppose y is sending amount on 4 october correct and x has received that amount on 5th october so earliest of this will be date of payment so 4th october will be the date of payment any earlier date so here we got to know what is date of invoice it is the mentioned date on the bill last date of issue of invoice two cases we got to know that also and date of payment earlier of any that is receipt of amount in bank account or the debited amount of the recipient in one case any beginning date will be the earlier date will be the date of payment now coming to the main point we have taken one illustration one problem one question we are going to solve this. suppose goods sold to customer on 10th may the goods have sold to customer on 10th may okay so 10th may is one date but received by the customer on 11th may okay the bill issued to customer 15th may amount is received from customer of 20th may by check which was cleared on 22nd May. So here one customer is there. Oh, to that customer 10th May the sale has happened. So this is the case number one where the goods have moved. The goods is in movement. So received by customer 11th May bill issued that is the date of invoice is 15 amount is received on 28th may but the check was cleared on 22nd may so earlier of last date of um, date of payment is any 20 may or 22nd may so here date of invoice is 15th may that is the date mentioned on the bill so date mentioned on the bill is 15th may so it is 15th may last date of issue of invoice last date of issue of invoice is the time when the goods have moved from the factory the goods when the goods moved from the factory it is 10th may next date of payment so date of payment we learn that date of payment will be any earlier date so here see the customer has paid the amount on 20th may through check 
but the seller cleared the check on 22nd so see here he gave check on 20 but the person sorry he gave check on 20 but the recipient cleared it on 22nd so any earlier date 20 is the earliest so date of payment is 28 may so now any earliest of this three which is the earlier date obviously 10th may is the earlier date so time of supply is 10th may hope you understood this problem if you have any queries you can ask me in comments below or you can also join my telegram group where you can get this pdf all the pdfs all the notes will be shared there if you are interested please go in the description box and you can join the telegram group thank you